Hello everyone. Today we're gonna develop a ping game, very similar to the first video game Pong. Uh, here we provide different options: uh, single player, uh, where player win versus a bot, and two human player. So for single player, we select single player, and you will be able to vs a bot. For example. This board we uh, consider uh, more smart. Every time you miss a ball, it brings up the menu like this. That's the game. So let's get started. Okay. So today uh, the instruction will be a little bit different. I'm not going to demonstrate step by step as I suppose that you already know the basic. We only mention about the most important thing in order to develop this so first of all you will need some resource it including some drawable i collect some uh, balls images uh, you may need some button and you can prepare it in photoshop and convert it into night patch you may need the frame also convert it into night patch um, so that it will be used at a background smaller icon uh, for uh, displaying the uh, sound options you also need some custom font and two main layout now uh, one is the um, the layout for the main menu that look like this and the second one is the uh, pause menu and it looks like this I also add some custom color, custom string, and uh, some style for the button so that I don't have to repeat the code. So that's all about the resource. How about the code? So the code I've been organized as follow. Um, firstly, I have the main activity and how in the activity it contain a main two main things one is the ping uh, it is a game view that display the game and the dialogue okay and at the very beginning i will try to create the dialogue it is using the menu layout that i created before and on the resum, it will show the menu. So you can see when the game start, it bring up the menu like this, okay. When the activity pause, it also stop the game. And I also handle some uh, click uh, related to uh, the menu button. I also need to monitor the, the state of the game, for example, if the game end or the game pause, so that I can make the relevant decision. And um, next, we create uh, two packages. One is component to store all the component of the game and the relevant interface uh, in the interfaces package. The two main interface that I create is the game loop interface that mainly used for game loop design pattern that we need to render the um, scene and to update the scene if needed and i also include some uh, variable uh, to control where and when uh, should we update the basic idea is when the current time is uh, greater or equal the time to update then we should update our scene and game state listener is the interface that basically uh, monitor whenever uh, the game state change for example it change from started to end or to started to pause etc and we have several game components the most basic one is a sprite the sprite is an abstract class and it basically handle the locations and the appearance of each character on the screen so i will have some variable like 
shape of the sprite, the location of the sprite, and you may need another variable named movevec in order to control the movement, speed, uh, and uh, velocity of the characters. Player class, which is inherited from sprite, and I also include the help point. Uh, it's three. It means that they can only meet the ball three times, and it have a variable score. Similarly, I create a bot player which inherit from player, and because it is a bot player, it need to know some state of the game. So I include the game at the the variable. It has a type which is dumb normal or smart where you can switch from different type of the, the bot and based on the type it can select different um, uh, shape uh, the movement speed and also the update rates so that it adapt to the, the environment now, this is the uh, code block for the uh, bot it very simple just few lines of code and it help you to track the ball and change the direction if needed. The next class, ball. The ball class also inherit from sprite. It is the initial speed of the ball. When we update the, the location of the ball, we can perform some calculation. It means that we calculate the difference between the last update and the current update and we try to move the ball based on the delta that we calculated. The next one is a game. So this is a game and uh, it contains uh, everything, uh, almost everything. It contains the state of the game and you can see that this, whenever the state uh, of the game change, it will trickle the on state chain listener. It contains uh, the bounds for the game, uh, the ball, and players. When we initialize game, we will try to uh, create the bounds, ball, and two players. And it depends on it is single player or multiplayer, then we will create a bot player or a human player. When we render the game, we render the ball and player, that it. And when we update the game, we update the ball, we update player's location and check the collisions between the ball and the bounce and also check the collision between the ball and player. We can also process the input, actually the user input, the touch event. And if, if it is a two player mode, then we will control the, the location of the player based on finger movement. This is a code block to handle the collisions. Um, uh, we will try to detect whether or the ball collide with uh, the bounce of the of the game or the ball will collide with the the player of the game if it um, collide with the bounce the top and the bottom then the game will either go to the end state or go to the pause state it means that uh, one player have missed the ball. Finally, we have the game view which inherits the surface view. The main task of the game view is to display the game uh, to our screen. And for the surface view, we may uh, implement some relevant interface. For example, the surface holder callback, our runnable interface and also game loop. The code for this survey view can be found on our GitHub and um, that's all about the game. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.